All right, dear friends, uh, I'm not in Toronto. I'm in British Columbia. I've never been to this province before, but I know people from Western Canada, and they, and they tell me, hey, you should check out London Drugs. So we are here to check out the London Drugs. Because apparently they have like an actual movie section here, so let's check it out. So apparently this is a drugstore, but look at, they have like a photo center and everything. Wow, that's cool, it's crazy. They have an in-store computer shop here too. That's that's interesting. Printing, audio, video systems. I see on their website that they have criterions and stuff, but we'll look around and further investigate. Oh. They even have an avatar kiosk. That's funny. If you made it to the physical media section, this isn't the whole section, this is just an end camp, like a little spin rings, value, price, entertainment, a bunch of discounted Blu-rays. Uh, here we have the first is the Hunger Games steelbook. I actually do like that steelbook. That's a great looking steelbook. Just very simple, but it has the pendant on it and the flaming thing. So that was really cool. You got Dark Knight Rises. Some of these prices were like, what the heck? Was this 2009? But um, they did have this random <laughs> Reach Me Blu-ray. Trance on Blu-ray. Never heard of that, but it has a pretty good cast. Kung Fu Panda. I didn't know there's a 3D version of it. So I was very tempted, but has to be it but look at this look how many blu-rays are this is, this is some random like drugstore black beauty honestly i prefer the little mini series that was made in the uk but i have a lot of nostalgia for black beauty we had to like watch an english class and make notes and stuff like that but here you go here's another i think that's a steel book right yeah the, no it's a metal pack the born supremacy metal pack very cool stuff here now this is just that one section there's gonna be a lot more cool stuff at the end uh here you got this two pack phantom of the opera august rush heard decent things about that phantom of the opera so i, don't know, I like that slip cover too here we got the Cult of Chucky. I think this is the last Chucky movie before they rebooted it. Uh, here's Poltergeist, the original one. And those, but those have 4Ks already. And I don't know if this was a steelbook or if this was a slipcover, but you got Resident Evil. Didn't really care for those movies. And here you got uh, some new releases, or decently new releases. Evil Dead, 2699. George Foreman movie. I haven't seen that one yet. I uh, didn't hear the greatest things about it, though. And then here's the other side of that end cap. And then here's some more miscellaneous uh, Blu-rays and DVDs. You see that 4K of uh, Angel's Fallen, but I think it was like 15 bucks. And then here's their actual section, their movie section. Like, what in the world is this? How does this, this movie set, how does this movie section have more movies than a Best Buy movie section or like an actual dedicated mo like movie store? Like, what in the hell? It was absolutely amazing. First off, here you got John Wick on 4K, $35.99. Uh, a dollar more expensive than MSRP, but again, it's a drugstore. Then you got uh, Wrath of Man with the slip, which is a hard to come by, but it was a, a tad expensive. Uh, but it's still insane, insane selection. They got, they got, was that the whale? Yeah, it's the whale, 26 cent. That's about how it usually goes for, I think about a dollar or two more expensive than MSRP. I really like this turning red uh, Blu-ray, uh, what's it called? Uh, the case. I like when they add different things. It makes your collection pop. Here you got Al Pacino in a Scarface. They got this remote, I think this is a boutique. It's like Mill Creek or something like that, or real oh, full moon, okay. Never heard of this movie, but you know, really interesting to see boutique blu-ray boutique blu-rays at the drugstore like what in the world is this then you got uh what's it called raccoon city <sighs> fuck that movie with a burning passion but uh here we got some other blu-rays santa claus i think that has the 4k restoration on it so hopefully we get an actual 4k because that's like one of my favorite christmas movies of all time hands down i just love that movie i watch it every single year here we got we got a boutique kino lorber with the slip cover pretty hard to come by mad max you got what is this, is this a music dvd music blu-ray i don't know i haven't seen that movie yet so but yeah, huge selection of stuff. Look at this, Enter the Dragon 4K, cheaper than MSRP. MSRP in Canada, I think it's $33, $34. That's $29.99. Same with Les Miserables, $21.99 with the slip cover. Oh my gosh, you got 12 Angry Men, Kino Lorber, uh, 1997 remake. Insane, Snatch with the slip cover. This is a pretty hard to come by slip cover here in Canada, but it's insane that they had it here. It's just, uh, I was dedicated on finding some uh, Lionsgate Steelbook, so I, I kind of held off on uh, seeing other stuff here. You got you know, Criterion 4K 47, that's I think a few dollars cheaper than MSRP. You got a bunch of those uh, Star Trek 4Ks. You got Top Gun Ma Maverick and Top Gun 1 on 4K for $50. Smoking the Bandit, uh, $28 was a bit too steep, but it did come with that uh, slip cover, which is harder to come by. Uh, Space Jam 4K. Now, are these the Canadian releases? Yeah, these are Canadian releases. You got Raiders of the Lost Ark, again, Snatch. Uh, see, I pick it up again because I'm tempted, but $30, I don't know. 
uh, you got Schindler's List, you got The Thing on 4K, Untouchables, and you got The Thing again on 4K. Very, very nice. Uh, I think that's more expensive than MSRP, but I think. Then you got, boom, Scarface, $26.99. I, I, I had to pay extra because I wanted a slipcover for it, and boom, they just have it sitting here. So I was very surprised at the amount of 4K slips they had here just sitting around uh, Vanilla Sky. MSRP, I think, maybe a dollar more expensive, but still, you can find it here. You got Venom. I remember picking that up because I didn't think I'd find it. But insane. You get a Psycho two, Psycho one on the side there for pretty good price, and with the slip cover, those 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 uh Hitchcock uh, slip covers are getting harder and harder to come by. Got some more stuff. Jumanji, Lost City, Knives Out, thirty nine. That's that's pretty expensive. I, I didn't pick that up because that is pretty expensive, and I do want it with the slip, so hold off on that. Maybe I'll make my own. Then you got this this I think it was RLJE release, but it was pretty cheap. What was that one dollar ninety nine cents? I don't know. I can't read that. This sticker is so bright. I remember being extremely cheap. And the news of the world. Still need to pick that up. My dad really wants to watch that movie, but I want to show him to him. And then MIB International. Fuck that movie, bro. Monster Hunter. And then boom, look at this. Mad Max 4K slip cover. That's a that is expensive though. $38. That's pretty expensive for a Kino Lorber, but still, I mean, if you're getting an out-of-print slip cover, it's pretty good. Then you got um Pitch Black, uh, which I was tempted to get because I have made a custom slip for it, but uh I want to wait for it to be on sale. Then you got 300 on 4K with the slip cover. Dune, uh, District 9 with the slip cover. That one's hard to come by. Elysium on 4K slip cover. Pretty minty slip too. Uh, but I literally just bought it. I'm like, fuck, I'm kicking myself over. But I did buy it for like, you know, $15 cheaper. Uh, I got all the G.I. Joe 4Ks. The Incredible Hulk again. Pretty hard to come by slip cover here in Canada. Clear and Present Danger. Again, I was tempted to pick this up. But I flew here. So I was, I was really stringent on what I wanted to pick up. Like, Gattaca on 4K, The Firm on 4K, some pretty good stuff here. Ooh, black. What's it called? Fucking. Anyways, uh, Chaos Walking Hell. No, you got Collateral on 4K. I was tempted to pick up, but for 29.99, it does. It did come with the slip cover, but and then you got the Birds 4K again. Uh, pretty decent price. Usually these go for around $19, $20. So for seeing it for 28, but it does have a slip cover, so that is cool. Angry Birds, and then 2012. This is a really hard slip cover to find, but it was pretty expensive, $30 again, and it's a Chonky Boy. So. Who knows? And then Animal House, uh, another hard to come by slipcover here in Canada. Brightburn, Babylon, and then Beetlejuice, another slipcover that I've been really meaning to pick up. About thirty-four dollars. That's pretty, pretty expensive. But look at the mass amounts of Blu-rays and 4Ks. Here's the Disney-owned uh, property stuff. Uh, great deals, as they call it. But um. It was about average price, but I like how they have everything set up. They got the Disney stuff, the Marvel stuff, the 20th Century Studios owned stuff on one section. That was really, really cool. Uh, I forgot that uh, 20th Century Fox owns, or I guess owned, uh, Sound of Music. So we'll probably have to get the 4K from Disney, which isn't too uh, isn't too very exciting. But here's all the, the, the kind of MCU stuff and the, the Disney owned properties. Here you got those gray boxes. And uh, yeah, you got Heat on uh, Blu-ray. This is the more superior image quality with the 4K scan. But if you're already on the 4K, I think I think it's cheaper to get it on 4K because at least you get that same Blu-ray disc. And here's another end cap of just I think superhero stuff, Marvel stuff. So, and then here is their Kino Lorber end cap. Like what the hell? Some of these are amazing, and some of these are pretty good prices. And look at that, boom. Escape from Alcatraz, $25.99 with the slip cover, dude. Holy moly. Then you got a few other uh, Kino Blu-rays, which are actually cheaper than MSRP. I think these go for about $19. So that was $19. Uh, some of them were $16. Some of them were $15. Uh, long Riders, very, very cool. I was tempted to pick that up, but again, it's MSRP. I could probably find that anywhere else and without the slip cover. But yeah, these two, holy moly. High Plains Drifter and Al uh, Escape from Alcatraz for $25.99. Look at my face. <laughs> Anyways, and here's the last end cap. Uh, let's go home and I'll show you everything I picked up. Here's just a little end cap for there for you guys. It was old TVs too, so. Holy moly, that's a freaking drugstore? Well, anyways, we are back from uh, British Columbia, Vancouver, British Columbia. Went back from Seattle and then checked that out because a few of my Canadian viewers were like, hey man, you gotta check out London Drugs. And it was worth checking out. Well, freaking Boutique Criterion's Kino Lorber out of print slipcover 4Ks in a drugstore. It was actually a f crazy drugstore. It had, it still had like those one hour photo developing places. It had a computer section. So it was more than just a drugstore. I would say London Drugs is more of a, which is it's called London Drugs, is more of a, I guess, department store. And uh, they even had the freaking new release MSRP 
4Ks for under retail value. I think they had, as you saw, they had the Ender the Dragon 4K, which is about retailing about 32, 33, around, you know, that area in Best Buy and Amazon. They were selling it for $29.99, and I wanted to see, hey, if I bought it, like, online, will it ship to me? But they didn't have any listings online. So, but I left out on that because I wanted to see if I can snag the Steelbook, because hopefully I can find that soon. But I did end up picking up something. It wasn't all in vain. I was able to find... Uh, uh, A24 Blu-ray with the slip cover for $4.99, and that is The Farewell, uh, starring Aquafina. I'm not the biggest fan of Aquafina. All of the things I've seen her in, she's absolutely miserable in. Like, like I hate her in those roles. But I did watch Shang Chi. She's the main love interest, and she's fine. And this is an A24 film, and hopefully, it's less like wah wah like like those I. I recently just watched um, Little Mermaid for shits and giggles and it's like one of the most annoying performances. So hopefully I'm able to see the whole hype is about again A24. Usually they haven't steered me off on the wrong foot so and it's also an A24 slipcover so I'm really trying to find as many uh, A24 slipcovers as I can. So yeah for $4.99 pretty heckin good price. I don't really know much about this. I'm guessing this is about the Asian American experience and trying to live up to uh you know really high expectations and the toxic environment of you know having immigrant parents and having these you know not inconceivable but extremely high uh, almost unreachable standards and a lot of pressure put on to their children which i kind of relate to even though my parents are cool and they allow me to do really cool things it's just i understand where this is coming from and the whole extended family trying to be you're american but you're also you know chinese vietnamese asian anything any type of foreign country especially if you have parents uh, who are from a foreign country and they come over to American and then you are born in that land. It's, it's a very, uh, I don't know if you, anyone uh, in the, the viewing can uh, relate to that. It's, it's definitely a big culture shock, especially if, you know, you have your own morals and your own ideas that kind of conflict with your parents foreign, you know, if they live in like India or Pakistan or the Middle East and they come here and they have their own set of morals and values and then you keep your... I guess you take from growing up in America or a candle or a Western country or Europe or whatever, and you have those values and they kind of clash and it really, I guess it kind of adds this unneeded tension within the family dynamic. So I'm really excited and that, that really piques my interest. So hopefully, um, you know, Aquafina wins me over with this performance. It seems pretty good, uh, made by A24 and it has a slip cover. So I thought I might as well pick it up for $4.99. So yeah, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please make sure to like and subscribe because it is free and it means a whole lot to me. Anyways, we got f a, a couple more uh, Seattle vlogs. Um, you know, I went to Best Buys, Targets, Walmarts. I went to Half Priced Books. So stay tuned for those videos. Anyways, that was today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, I am Mason from the Mockbuster YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning. Whenever you're watching this, please stay safe and God bless. Peace, cheers, long physical media. See you guys. Peace.